What's going on, people? I am doing this video old style. I remember when I first started doing YouTube videos. I was in my basement. I had a lamp on the Sony CyberShot, and there was shadows of the stuff in the back, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna actually go back retro and uh, do some of these videos. Got a lot of new folks to the channel. Welcome to the G-verse. And some of you have found some of the older videos. This channel is came to be August 6, 2009. And there's like 950 videos on this channel. It's almost 800 that you can see. And people are finding the Craigslist story, the storage auction stories, the crazy entrepreneur stories. And people are like, what happened? Where's there? There's no more stories. What's going on? And I'll tell you the story. There's some shows that will not be named in this video, but they talk about storage auctions. And for a while, they were biting my shit. At first, I thought I was crazy. First, I thought, nah. But too many elements were just pulled from my blog, which I took down, which was Urban Packrat. So I just stopped. And other people were trying to bite my crazy Craigslist stories. So, you know, I just step back. You can have the stage. You go for it. Do your thing. And I sat back and I noticed not shit happened. So, understand, there's a ton of stories. It's like, over the years, it was like 7,000 Craigslist transactions. All kinds of crazy shit happened. A lot of storage auction stories, a lot of entrepreneur stories. I actually have a friend that went through the same thing that I went through at the DeKalb County Business License Office. Went through that thing like 2003. Went through the same thing, here it is, 2014, and it hasn't changed. So, created a new blog, Storage Auction Stories. Well, actually it's not a blog, it's just a tab on Hustler Food, so you'll be able to click that. So that's where the stuff's going to be. It's going to start dropping very soon. And it's going to be different because I held off on a lot of really good stuff in my estimation. I held off on some things that were a little scandalous, a little crazy. Yes, worse than the, the panty pimp thing. And I just thought, let me just chill out and see what happens with all these other people in these shows and see what they do. I haven't watched an episode of any of those storage auction shows in well over a year. I don't even know what they're doing, don't know how good they're doing, how bad they're doing. It's not even on the radar. So I'm coming back with my stuff because I feel that they've kind of like wah, wah, petered out and it's different kind of stuff, just different kind of stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This guy used to work for me. Just say, let's just call it the story of Moses. Dude was, this was probably year two, and he was one of the reasons that I went to the Latino Brothers. I saw this guy, actually, he used to come to the Latoya Flea Market, and he frequented our booths for a lot of stuff. And one day he hit me up when I was in desperate need of assistance. Brother man, brother man, you got a job for a brother. Unfortunately, I did. Needed help. He was there. He was able. He was willing. So I did it. He ended up working for us. Now, to give you the proper scene, let me paint the scene for you with Moses. Moses was about 6'6". Six, six, Maybe 170 pounds, maybe maybe 180. Tall, gangly, hair down the here, and he was always quoting scripture. If he move a chair, he quotes some scripture. If he was meeting the customer, he quotes some scripture. And I give that to you. You be blessed now. After a while, that shit gets on your nerves because it was every day, every hour, every minute, every second. Now, Moses was very overt 
with his scripture telling and his bless shoes. And he looked like a scary, skinny Bigfoot, because dude was the wore like a size 16. I mean, if you just see this guy, he's 6'6", six, six, very skinny, craggly eyes, and he's quoting scripture. It's like a cartoon character out of a movie or something. But I never, ever heard him use profanity, lose his temper, or nothing. So one day, a customer comes in. And she's quoting scripture, and she's like, I'm an atheist. I don't need to hear that. If that's your life, that's your life. Leave me out of it. So at that point, I was like, okay, I go over and I say, is everything okay? And she's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And he was different. There was something going on. There was something brooding in him. Then he just lost it. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if he's doing drugs. I never smelled alcohol on him. Like I said, he was just very zealous with his scriptures and spreading the word, so on and so forth. But he freaking lost it. It's atheist little bitches like you that make the world a bad place. And I'm sitting there looking at him stunned. The woman is sitting there like with her mouth open. And we're like, what the fuck's wrong with you? So you know I had to fire him. I had to fire him. I had to fire him. I was like, look, you know, no longer need your services here. I gave the lady a vase to make her happy because I didn't want any trouble out of her because literally she got cussed out by this dude who was working for me. I called my partner. I was like, you will not believe what this fool did. She's laughing. She's like, well, I was kind of tired of his ass anyway. So it's a good thing. And you would think that would be the end of the story. No, 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 no. This is when we had the shop, Lawrenceville Highway. Dude came to work every day to pick it with his Bible. Walking back in front of the door, quoting scriptures to everybody that came in. Do you know this motherfucker went ahead and got a permit? <laughs> that shit went on for a week. I was like, and one day he just stopped showing up. And that's the story of Moses. And uh, I've been with my Latino brothers ever since. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side. And if you haven't, make sure you get a copy of my free audio book, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. And stay the fuck away from Moses because he might snap on you. For real. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. I don't know what happened to that motherfucker. I have not seen him since. If I see him, I, I might shoot him. Because that, that was just... <sighs> the life of an entrepreneur. If you want to get into the storage auction game today, go ahead and grab Making Money A to Z with Self Storage Unit Auctions, the ebook, and The Journey to Storage Auction Success. Only $29.95. Just click that bar and you'll be good to go. Once again, thanks for watching the video and have an awesome freaking day. That's right, day, not night, but day.